For a weekly roundup of COVID-19 weekly stats, we're now joined by CSIR senior researcher, Dr. Redvan Suleiman. Well, very good evening, Dr. Suleiman. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you obviously seeing South Africa officially in a technical third wave. Latest stats emerging suggest that uh, the daily COVID-19 cases per week are on the increase once again. Walk us through what that looks like. Good evening, Liesl. Um, indeed, we continue to see a sustained increase um, in the number of reported cases nationally, as we have been seeing for the past six weeks. Um, even though we technically entered a third wave this week, in reality, we've probably been in a third wave for about three weeks when the test positivity rate breached 10% and when the daily number of new cases or case incidents breached five new cases per day. Um, over the last week, we've seen a surge um, in Gauteng and and that's resulted in an even bigger increase uh, nationally that we are seeing. Um, the average number of cases we've reported over the last week is 6,848 cases per day. Um, and that figure has increased by 48% week on week. Dr. Suleiman, comparing the third wave to the second wave and then also the first wave, what is ultimately reflected through these patterns? So if you look at our uh, current uh, case loading um, at 6,848 cases per day on average, um, that's up to 36% of the second wave's peak um, and up to 54% of the first wave's peak. Um, now, if we compare the, the rate of increase at, at the moment, um, a 48% increase is equivalent to new cases doubling about every 12 days. That rate of increase compared to a similar loading um, in the previous waves, it's now faster than what we were seeing uh, during the first wave where cases at a similar loading were doubling about every two weeks, uh, but not quite as fast as what we were seeing during the second wave where the rate of increase was doubling about every 10 to 11 days. But the trajectory seems to be moving towards what we were seeing during the second wave um, in the summer. You were contextualizing the national uh, overview. I want to hone in provincially now and look at the daily COVID cases per province. What has been shown through, those, through that data? So Gauteng remains the most concerning and really driving the numbers that we are seeing nationally. Um, Gauteng has reported over 28,000 cases over the past week, um, and that's about 60% of the total cases that were reported nationally. Um, if we look at the, at the curves of the different provinces, if you, if you focus on the yellow curve, that being Gauteng, cases have increased by over 70% week on week, Gauteng now reporting an average of 4,100 new cases per day. In other words, new cases there are doubling every nine days. Um, the other concern as well at the moment now is the increase that we're seeing in the other three populous provinces, um, in the coastal provinces of Western Cape. Um, the cases have increased there by over 73 percent compared to a week ago. So there too, cases are doubling about every nine days. And the case incidence in Western Cape is now up to nine new cases per day per 100,000 people. So really getting to very concerning levels there. Um, mm. The other two provinces, Eastern Cape and KwaZulu-Natal, while the case incidence is low, the rate of increase is high. Eastern Cape up 45% and KwaZulu-Natal up almost 90% compared to a week ago. Um, so, so all of those are concern. Maybe some good news is that Northern Cape is now on a sustained decrease, down to 60, 65% of its previous peak. Um, Free State um, is showing signs of a decrease, not, not quite out of the woods, uh, and hopefully it, it will continue to decrease. Now, comparing, you know, this data to the waves in Gauteng and also on the back of the announcements of the additional sites, um, in fact, 25 additional sites being announced within Gauteng province, um, I just want to know, you know, how this is going to assist when it comes to testing and uh, also, you know, calculating that average test uh, positivity rate per week in, in, in South Africa at large. Sure. So, so in Gauteng, the, the number of, of new cases reported now is up to 77% of the previous wave's peaks. Um, and if you look at the rate of increase, as mentioned, new cases there doubling every nine days. 
uh, the rise in Gauteng is steeper than what it was seeing in the previous two waves. So that really is a concern right now. Mm -hmm. um, I think every every measure and all hands on deck are re needed right now to control the spread in Gauteng and particularly to, to uh, maximize bed capacity. Um, if you look at testing nationally over the past week, it has increased too. Uh, we, we've done over 44,000 tests per day um, over the last week across the country. Um, and that's an increase of 16% week on week. Um, the increase in testing is a reflection of more infections across the country, more people showing symptoms, and therefore more people presenting for testing. Um, and so counterintuitively, it's a reflection um, of the um, infection curve or the rate of increase of infections. Off the back of, of this now, we're looking at hospitals and uh, also, you know, what are the new COVID-19 hospital admissions per week in South Africa? Obviously, as you mentioned, as the numbers increase, this uh, paints a rather concerning picture for South Africa heading into the next few months. Yes, indeed, there remains a strong link between the cases and the test positivity rate, and then what we see uh, with a bit of a leg, but in hospital admissions and thereafter in deaths, uh, that strong link still remains. So after seeing an increase in the number of cases, as well as the test positivity rate, um, that last metric also increasing um, uh, over the last week, the test positivity rate up to over 15% nationally. Um, and a week ago, it was just about 12%. So we're finding a positive a test for every six and a half tests conducted. Um, what it means is that in terms of hospital admissions, that too is now rising. Um, the last week saw over 4,300 new admissions across the country. Um, while that rate of increase of admissions has slowed up 5% compared to a week ago, um, it is expected um, with the rise in cases and pos uh, test positivity that hospital admissions will also increase going forward. Now, with calls for stricter, uh, you know, lockdown restrictions, there's also the continued vaccine rollout plans that, uh, you know, is being unearthed in, in the country at large. I want you now to perhaps unpack the average daily COVID-19 deaths per week experienced in South Africa. What is likely to happen as we enter this third wave? So we are starting to see a rise in the number of reported deaths nationally. Um, the last week saw an average of 111 new deaths per day across the country, uh, up 42 percent compared to a week ago. Um, there, there is possibly a backlog of deaths being reported. Um, however, if we look at the trend um, over time and also look at excess deaths and deaths occurring in hospitals. There's a notable increase of deaths in Gauteng mm -hmm. um, and also a large number of deaths in Northwest um, and in Free State, the number of deaths remain high. Uh, because of that strong link between uh, cases, hospital admissions and then deaths, um, unfortunately, the number of deaths will continue to rise over the coming weeks as we continue to see more people being admitted into hospitals. Our CSI, our senior researcher, Dr. Ridvan Sullivan, thank you very much for joining us. Of course, just giving us the latest regarding COVID-19 stats released in South Africa today.